Severe winter storms in 1886-87 brought ruin to Montana's cattle industry. When owners of a herd of 5,000 cattle requested a report, Cowboy Charles Russell simply drew a starving cow about to drop before ravenous wolves and titled it, Waiting for a Chinook. Chinook refers to a warm wind that would blow away the snow. Later, he painted this larger version. When Russell painted the original postcard size sketch, he could not foresee the extent of the impact it would have on the public nor on his career. The simple yet dramatic drawing he made of a lone cow standing in the snow and surrounded by a few wolves ready to move in for the kill vividly summarized the tragic devastation of the open-range cattle industry. Although intended as an illustrated response to the owners of a herd, Louis Kaufman and Louis Stadler, the sketch was later reproduced in Montana newspapers. Today, this famous small sketch, which established Russell's reputation as a Western artist, is at the Montana Historical Society in Helena. Charles Marion Russell was an accomplished painter, sculptor, illustrator, and a gifted storyteller. Born in St. Louis, Missouri on March 19, 1864, he dreamed about going to the American West. Shortly before turning 16, he arrived in Montana, where he spent 11 years working various ranching jobs. He sketched in his free time and soon gained a local reputation as an artist. His first-hand experience as a ranch hand and his intimate knowledge of outdoor life contributed to the distinctive realism characteristic of his style. As a full-time artist, he chronicled the everyday doings of the cowboy and depicted nostalgic, heroic views of Indian life. In 1896, he married Nancy Cooper, who became his business manager. Throughout his career, Russell modeled whimsical wax animals and clay and plaster figures, but he also made more formal sculptures, many of which were cast in bronze. His skillful storytelling abilities are exhibited in his humorous short stories and illustrated letters. Russell died in Great Falls, Montana, on October 24, 1926.